So Digital Extremes dropped another cryptic image and it feels good to be right sometimes. First, we see the image of Albrecht Entrati, which I was telling you the whole time. This is like semi-confirmation that we will be hearing more lore about the Entrati family. Also, it looks like we were also right about Requiem mods having a big role in the next big update. In addition, I saw a new figure, and that is the Reliquary Drive, which is a piece of Orokin technology that grants interstellar travel by traveling through the void. Two versions of the drive have been seen, the one used in the Tenno's Railjack and the one used in the Zariman 10 Zero. So it's either we also see a Railjack update in the future, or we might see another extension content for the Zariman ship. They will show more at the Future Games show of games. Radar and I will be checking it out later. For now, I would just like to talk about a very important topic that Digital Extremes should address in the future. So the title of this video suggests about the worst damage type that you should avoid right now. It's been 10 years and still, Warframe is the same old Warframe. The best damage type right now is still Slash and Viral. In fact, Viral got improved since it gives way more damage to health and then the developer also added universal defense stripping abilities in the form of Onyeru Focuses, Caustic Strike and Magnetic Flare. With this, both Viral and Slash becomes more potent, leaving other damage types close to being useless. Just imagine, why would you use Corrosive to lower the armor of enemies when you can just strip their armor? Or why would you even try to get rid of the shields with Magnetic Procs when you can just remove all the shield of an enemy? I must admit it, the meta wasn't shaken, not a bit, and it stayed viral and slash. It solid is the meta damage in Warframe, but there are also instances that not all can be dealt with just by using viral and slash. Most of the trash mobs are killed using the meta viral and slash, but there are missions, such as boss fights, that corrosive and radiation can be helpful. Just take, for example, Eidolon Hunts. Radiation is the best to take down the limbs of Eidolons, and the same goes with Orb Mother fights. But what about gas? Well, despite the nerf to gas, this element stays fun for me, but if only used with a specific setup. The same can be said with electric damage. These damage types are solid when you group enemies together and strip their defenses. The damage over time becomes more potent if done this way, and the gas pro still gets better when you are using it with stealth warframes. On the other hand, electricity is good, but not as good as the damage over time of gas, since it also scales with stealth. But mind you, Gaia does exist and gives a whole new definition to electric damage. This is the only Warframe that can give red crit on electric abilities, and so far the Warframe is enjoyable when used with a group and nuke setter. However, if you are looking for a true damage over time madness, then look no further and go try out heat damage right now. The status effect of heat damage is ignite. It sets the enemy ablaze, which makes them panic, reduces their armor by up to 50 and after a one second delay, deals a tick of damage every second for six seconds. Enemies killed while under or by a heat proc will be left in ashes, burning away shortly afterward. It gets even busted when you compare this with viral. The damage scales by a ton with viral's health damage bonus, and I really think that heat is another top tier damage type in Warframe right now. Also, it works great in most of the factions in the game except for Corpus Tech units that has high shield values. All these damage types are great for your weapons, but stay away from blast and impact. How about Puncture Squad Leader? As we all know, the status effect of puncture damage is weakened. It lasts 6 seconds and stacks to a maximum of 5 times. Affected enemies will have a yellow aura. The victim's attacks deal 40% less damage. Subsequent procs add 10% reduced damage up to 80% at max stacks. The victim receives 5 increased weapon critical chance per pros up to 25% at max stacks. This bonus is additive after mods but does not apply to area of effect damage or warframe abilities. While it can't be a primary damage in your build such as slash, viral and heat, but I find the critical chance and damage reduction useful as a secondary tool meant for survivability and small boost in damage just imagine having a gun with the three physical damage types. Clearly, you would want Slash to be dominant, and Puncture will give you some benefits when it procs. However, I don't have any reason of using Impact and Blast in my builds unless I'm having some dumb fun in Warframe. So basically, the status effect of Blast damage is inaccuracy. It reduces the gun accuracy of the afflicted target by 30 for 6 seconds. Melee attacks are unaffected by the procs. Subsequent procs add 5. Drive reduced accuracy up to 75, in total after 10 stacks, 
with each proc having their own duration. While impact, status effect is called stagger. It lasts 6 seconds and stacks to a maximum of 5 times. It causes enemies to flinch and recoil backwards. Subsequent procs increase the stagger duration. However, Ospreys, Bosses and Tenno are immune to the stagger. Against heavy units, Impact additionally increases the health threshold at which they can be Parazon Mercy killed by 80 per pro, allowing them to be vulnerable at up to 80 of their total health and 100 on Corpus and Eximus with all their shields removed. Now, I'll ask you this. Why would you use Blast and deal with its annoying ragdoll effect on enemies? Unless you are playing Tenor Space Program, then it would be annoying to see enemies flying all over the map when you want them to die fast with a group and nuke setup. In addition to this, Blast makes enemy guns inaccurate, which is a dumb day buff in my opinion. Blast should be a form of crowd control wherein enemies shouldn't be able to get up for a couple of seconds after they got blasted. Also, they should add a damage modifier to the damage type wherein enemies take damage when they fall to the ground. The greater your blast values, the higher enemies get ragdoll, and when they fall, they receive huge damage. When it comes to impact, I just can't see myself doing finisher moves in every enemies right now. I must admit that I got hooked up with finisher moves in the past, especially when the Parazon kills came out, but when it comes to playing Warframe, it's better to kill a group of enemies instead of just killing them one by one. To be honest, it's hard to make impact good right now without breaking the game. The stagger effect won't cut it and it needs to change in the future. There are times wherein I get huge damage with impact using my Strofa, and in the past you will see large numbers of impact damage when you pair Eclipse and Wisp with the Exodia Contagion. I think double damage for impact would be a good replacement for stagger. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.